Accountability for abuses of the recent past is uh, very important for transparency, for uh, confidence in institutions, for uh, you know, settling uh, disputes about what has happened and what has not happened. Because if, they, if those uh, disputes over the facts are allowed to remain, uh, they can fester and they can make uh, uh, the discussions within a democracy uh, completely tainted uh, by, by accusations uh, that are never quite uh, uh, proven. Um, I think ignoring very serious human rights abuses just generates a level of distrust in institutions that is uh, uh, ultimately detrimental to, to democracy and detrimental to um, the rule of law. Governments that have faced uh, some challenges, including security, national security challenges, with respect for the rule of law, with uh, a, a sense of restraint for the activities of their agents, have managed to maintain the credibility and the support of the population and therefore have been able to show themselves uh, much stronger in, in confronting those challenges. There are lessons to be learned of this just about everywhere. In my country, in Argentina, uh, the fact that we, uh, at the end of the dirty war uh, and the military dictatorship, the society and the state uh, went through the exercise of exploring the truth no matter where it took us and, and no matter how much it hurt, uh, has been a major, major factor in the stability of democracy and in the trust in institutions. In fact, I would say it's the most important factor in establishing the rule of law that uh, accounts for more than 25 years now of democratic stability. Uh, even though the country has faced enormous difficulties in the economic and social sphere, the political institutions have been very stable.